in the Irons five minute FaceTime with Junior Alvarado, the red hot Junior Alvarado, uh, number two right now in the country in earnings, coming off the Holy Bull points this past week and the Pegasus two weeks ago. Junior, how you doing? Good, good, good. Doing very good. You know, happy to be here today with you and, and thank you for having me. So I got to start off, Junior. I got to ask about these last two weeks. What is it like, to, you know, your feelings right now? You've had uh, both wins for Bill Mott. You have a phenomenal relationship together. Walk me through your feelings last two weeks. You must be 10,000 feet in the air. No, definitely. You know, Bakes, extremely happy, very excited, you know, like, you know, been working my whole career as a jockey, you know, to accomplish all this dream, to be able to to be in those kind of races, and and now just not only to be able to to be on this race and just be able to win it, you know, it, it makes it great. You know, that's that's what we wake up every morning, five, five thirty, six o'clock in the morning to go to the track and hustle and work horses. That's you know, that's that's what we do to try to to, to be in this. Um, to be in this moment and, and and like i said i mean thank god everything is working out great and and i'm enjoying it well i love to hear that and i love to see you know the the emotion you bring to the track and the hard work that's going to lead me to question number two i got to know you know you, i've seen you without your silks on before just in, in a turtle shell and your arms are huge and you probably have to be the most fit out of any jockey and the most muscularly built out of any jockey. Walk me through a little bit what you do to prepare yourself to, to really stay in that fitness level because you are really strong and it definitely shows when you get on the back of a horse. You know, I think as a, as a jockey, you know, you, you, you're you normally extremely fit, you know, just to being able to get on horses and wear horses and ride horses, it keeps your body very fit. You know, it, it takes a lot, you know, it's a lot of work how you do when you're on a horse, but for me, you know, I try to always be prepared. I try to be like, like you say, like I, I want to be ready so I don't have to get ready. You know what I mean? So my days off, I work out even the day. Sometimes like if I ride two, three, four horses a day, I go home and I enjoy my time with my kids and I still have that little extra energy. I'll go in the, and, and then I have my, my, my setup for a workout here at home and, and I just keep working. I do 40. If I'm in, I do an hour or whatever I feel, you know, I jump up in the peloton if I need to. And it, it, it does, you know, when you, when you make that part of your life, you feel like you always need to. You always need to be doing it because it makes you feel good. And, and like I said, for me, you know, it's always help. I just think, you know, like I, I, I'm always very fit and I'm always ready when it comes to like, you know, go to head to head and, a, and you know, I head to head with another rider. You know, I feel that I have the stuff. I mean, I feel that I have the, the power to, to go head-to-head to head with anybody. You know, just like I, I just love to be ready for, for any occasion. Well, it's clearly paying off, and we see it in the stats on the track. And head-to-head, and head, when you get another horse, we're seeing you again and again get forward. So it's definitely working out. I have to ask you now, you know, question number three, which really, where does this all start? When did this all start? How did you decide I wanted to become a jockey? And what was that family support when you're coming up, you know, a lot of mothers, we've spoken to some jocks in the past, they weren't necessarily happy about their child becoming a jockey. How did you decide you wanted to become a jockey, and, and how did you end up in uh, Florida and then New York? Yeah, the same way. You know, I, I don't think my parents were very thrilled for me to be a jockey. You know, they, they did, you know, at least encourage me to, to finish high school, I remember. But, you know, like, since I have a memory, like, I probably was four or five years old, I knew that I wanted to be a jockey. You know, I did many things. I remember playing soccer. I played baseball, but you know, my heart was was set out for for to be a jockey. You know, I, I I wanted to be in a horse. I wanted to ride horses. I wanted to be in races. I want to be that competitive. And and you know, like I say, even though my mom and my dad never were too great about it, you know, I, now as a parent, I understand a hundred percent why they want they didn't want me to. But you know, I you know. I, they just couldn't hold me, you know. I, I, I did what I needed to do, and and you know, it's like I say, you know, I, you know, I started riding in Venezuela, 2004. Then in 2007, the beginning of the year, February, you know, I moved here to to the USA, and you know, I started riding in Florida. Then you know, I moved to Chicago, 2008. Then I moved my tag, 2012, to New York, and you know, thank God, I, you know, I have a lot of support, a lot of trainers, a lot of owners that have been helping me, and. And, you know, for sure, you know, the main thing for me, like my family, this, my, my family support is, is being like, probably for me, like, most, like thing that I really, you know, been, been getting me through, through all this. 
Yeah, I mean, there's definitely great family support there, and that leads me perfectly into question number four. And that's just, you know, tell me a little about what it's like to be at Saratoga in the summer and what that means to you with your whole family there. I've never seen such an amazing environment with your your wife and your son is over working at the mac and cheese truck. You know, when we look at other sports, there's not necessarily that opportunity to bring your family to work every day. And you really can do that at Saratoga. And it's amazing to watch how, how happy you're up there and how happy your family's. What is that like to you, you know, that summer Saratoga experience? Yeah, you know, it, it is unbelievable. You know, every year that's, you know, one of the best times we're looking forward to, you know. For me, it gets to be a lot of work in the morning and the afternoon, but you know, we have enough time off to, like, a couple of days off to, you know, for me to go fishing with my kids. We go and, and do trip roads. We do hiking. We do everything we can, like, the days off. You know, my son, last year, remember, he got to work at Mac and Cheese Truck right there at the track. You know, for him, it was, like, a, an unbelievable experience. He was loving it. You know, he was working there like he owns the truck. And, and you know, it's great even for me just to see that, you know, that, that the most passion that he had for go to work in the morning and, and you know, like the most dedication he was putting into it, you know, like, it, it, you know, it, it really means a lot to me, you know, make make me feel that, you know, whatever my wife and me were doing, we're doing something right at least. And, 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 and you know, it's just an unbelievable, you know, it just just having time to go dinner in the afternoon with my wife, having my own time with her, you know, it's like I said, I mean, every single day, it's just beautiful to be in Saratoga. It's just an, an unbelievable experience that, Sometimes, you know, like just talking and say doesn't do justice. You have to live really know what it is like. Yeah, I have to say, you know, if you follow you, uh, you and your wife on Instagram, it's, it's either baseball, fishing, or dinners for you. I see you out there fishing in the morning, fishing in the afternoon, playing baseball with your son. Um, it's, it's definitely a great experience. Last question for you, question number five. You know, Cody's wish, uh, I, I got to talk about it. This is the type of story that keeps people in horse racing and brings new people into horse racing. Tell me a little bit what that experience was like for you and what, you know, what this entire Breeders' Cup meant to you. No, it, it was an unbelievable experience, you know, for me, you know, winning the first Breeders' Cup, you know, it was great. But, you know, like I say, I guess I just have my mind set up that I wanted to do it for them. You know, I wasn't really focused for me to be in my first Breeders' Cup and I did enjoy it, but I think I enjoyed the most to be able to, to deliver that win for them you know, for their family, for Cody Dorman, and and I guess it was a little bit for the whole racing, they needed that too, you know, so I was just very happy to be part of it, you know, it, it was an unbelievable experience, it was a, an amazing win, I remember crossing the wire first, but like I say, more than just being my first British Cup, I just think it was just very happy just to have that for, for, for Cody, for the whole racing, like I say, we, we, we we needed something like that and, and just to be able to, to, to accomplish that. It was just an unbelievable. Well, that's Junior Alvarado. Five questions, five-minute FaceTime with Junior. Junior, I appreciate it. Congratulations again on the, on the Breeders' Cup this year, the Pegasus, and now the Holy Bull, and good luck on the rest of the Derby Trail. Yeah, no, thank you very much. And, and, and like I said, we keep working. Hopefully we keep, keep accomplishing more, more, more big, big things this year. And, you know, and thank you again. Thanks, Junior. Thank you.